Hey guys, Mr. VPN here, and today we are going to look at how to connect to a Danish VPN server. Now, actually, uh, if this is your first time using a VPN, that may sound a bit complicated, but with a VPN app, it's very easy. Most VPN services have apps these days. The one that I use, and the one that I recommend now, is Viper VPN. Now, the thing that I like about Viper VPN, uh, the, the first thing that you can see here, is that they have a ton of server locations. So if you connect to, uh, if you want to connect to a Danish VPN, you know that that's fine, that's great. But your Viper VPN uh, subscription will also come with connection to all these other locations, of which the most interesting is probably US and UK because uh, they have a lot of TV and services that are only available in those countries. But even if you only want to connect to the Danish VPN. That's still fine. All you need to do is... Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that Viper VPN has apps for uh, pretty much all your devices. Anything Android, uh, iPhone, so all iOS devices, Mac and Windows, which is going to cover the vast majority of people. And their apps, you can see the, the apps that they have are really nice looking, really easy to run. Once it's downloaded and installed on your computer, we just need to click our location icon, select servers. We're going to pick Denmark, double click it, and wait for it connect to connect. And now we're connected to the VPN. We have our private uh, secure IP address, which is in Denmark. And to show that we're in Denmark, we're going to reload these IP sites. And we're going to see where they show. Now, if they behave, they're going to show us in Denmark. Denmark. Here we go. We got Copenhagen right here, and Copenhagen again. So they did perform very well. So now we're in Denmark. So now you'll be able to access Danish TV shows, Danish websites. There's really a ton of different things. Uh, that you can do. I know at least the, the thing I use the VPN most for is connecting to TV services. So when I travel, I connect to the US Netflix. I don't know if they have Netflix in Denmark, but if there's a Danish version or a European version of Netflix and you're in the US, you won't be able to access it. A lot of times banks are kind of touchy. Sometimes if you're like Skyping with people or doing any sort of like connective services, the world is connected, but when the servers are so far away, sometimes the connection isn't great. And if you use a VPN, essentially you are located with your computer. Your device is basically located in the country of your choice. So this may improve your connection. You can see everything is running very quickly. It was easy to connect to. And so, yeah, let's talk about the VPN app. So it comes with a free uh, trial, three-day free trial. And then once your trial is up, you're going to be able to choose between a couple different package choices. The main ones that most people are going to look at are going to be basic and pro. If the only reason that you want the VPN is going to be for unblocking websites, then I would recommend you at least start off with just the PPTP just because it's cheaper and well, the PPTP is still going to get you the IP location that you want. You still have access to all the servers and you still have access to all the apps. And then I don't know if you are interested in the online storage, but all packages do come with various amounts of, of secure online storage. Now, if you want multiple connections, so if you want to connect a computer and a phone at the same time, then you're going to need to do the pro package. If you are concerned with privacy and security, like you're going to be using the VPN in airports and you're using it in maybe a shared internet location and part of the reason you want to connect to the Danish server is for privacy and security, then you also want to get the pro package. This is also going to come with the NAT firewall, which I am currently connected to, and a little bit more online storage. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, do you have any questions? Leave them below. I'll leave a link in the description so you can sign up for your free trial and you can start surfing the Danish internet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.